What is the most important behaviour that you and your dog will ever learn? Well, keep watching because coming up next, I will be sharing one of the most crucial concepts that every dog owner should be helping their dog to learn. And that concept is as simple as A, B, C. Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa with VCABS and this channel is all about bringing you the best information and sound advice on topics related to dog behavior and dog training. This week's video is especially important because I will be sharing my number one behavior that every dog owner should be helping their dog to learn in everyday situations on a daily basis. Now, learning this number one behavior is as easy as learning A, B, C. So what is ABC? Well, ABC is about being calm. So being calm. So what's so special about helping our dog to learn calm behavior? Well, let's really focus on that question just for a little bit. Now, when we're promoting calm behavior in our dog, firstly, we're helping our dog to be receptive to learning new things like new desirable behaviors or just simply performing the requests that we'd like them to do, like offering a sit or a drop, or even settling on their mat. <laughs> when our dog is calm in their environment and we're promoting calm behavior, it's so much easier for us to get our dog's focus back on us if we need to, depending on the situation or environment. Always take the opportunity to reward your dog for offering you calm behavior and that might even just be sitting on their mat nice and quietly, standing there looking at you, or in these very common situations where you may have your dog on leash and you might be chatting to somebody you've seen walking past with their dog and your dog is being nice and calm and standing nicely on the leash. That's a perfect opportunity to reward your dog for that lovely calm behavior. The best ways to reward your dog is to reward them in a way where you're maintaining the calm behavior rather than increasing their excitement levels again. And what I mean by this is if they're sitting on their mat nice and quietly, then just casually and very quietly dropping a treat next to them while they're sitting there being nice and quiet is a great way to reinforce that calm behavior, but you're not disturbing them from that quiet place and you're not disturbing that nice calm behavior that they're offering. Another way is to offer quiet verbal praise. And if your dog enjoys physical interaction, you can also give them a rub on the chest area, which is a preferred place for a lot of dogs to be petted rather than being petted on the head. Now, a lot of dogs simply don't like being petted on the head. And you may notice that if you have petted your dog on the head in certain situations, they may have moved away from you or it may have actually increased their excitement levels. So there are a couple of good ways to reward your dog to maintain that calm behavior and reward them at the same time. Here are some really easy strategies that will help you help your dog to learn calm behavior in everyday situations. Always look for real world opportunities to reward your dog for calm behavior at any time in any everyday situation. And it could be just a behavior that's as simple as standing there looking at you or sitting there watching you while you're cooking dinner or even settling on their mat. Minimizing any potential distractions that might divert your dog away from performing calm behavior is a good idea. So for example, if you've got quite a brightly lit room, maybe think about putting on a lamp instead and turning those down lights off to create a more inviting atmosphere for calm behavior and then that way you're setting your dog up for success more readily. You can also reduce noise distractions as well to make sure that you're having your dog perform nice calm behavior rather than being distracted by what's going on. Now, what are the benefits of promoting calm behavior? It's very good in helping them make transitions into times when they are home alone. That's when we can use enrichment to help keep them mentally stimulated and if our dogs are already in a calm state when we're leaving the house, then that's going to promote their mental health and well-being. Promoting calm behavior in our dogs also provides them with consistency, predictability, and routine. And we're also giving them guidelines of how we'd like them to act in certain situations, in everyday situations. So yes, it's fine for our dogs to want to play and be excited in certain situations, but it's also important that they learn 
how to be nice and calm and relaxed in situations when we need them to be. We're also creating a pleasant experience for our dog every time we're rewarding them for performing calm behaviour. And this will increase the frequency and the likelihood of that calm behaviour occurring again in that situation or environment in the future. Check out the other video links that are related to this topic and click on those video links in the description below. And that brings us on to our video question of the day which is, what are some things that your dog likes to do when they're being quiet and calm and relaxed? Let me know your experiences, I'd love to hear about them, please share them in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share, and if you're new here, please consider subscribing to receive more videos like this each week. Well that's about all for this week, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you'll be looking for some real world opportunities to start rewarding your dogs for performing calm behaviour in everyday situations on a daily basis. Once again, I'm Dr. Lisa with VCABS, and from Marco and me, remember, stay positive. See you next time.